Hello Toots. Welcome to the first lecture of the programming series of TechTed. In this lecture, we will learn some basic definition and terms around programming. So, let's begin. So, first of all, let us understand what is a program. So, what can I say? Program is a sequence of instructions to perform some specific task according to your requirement using a computer. So basically through programming we give instructions to a computer so that it can perform some specific task according to our need. And so what is programming? Sorry. Programming is the process of writing a program. So, we want some requirement to be fulfilled by a computer and we write a program to fulfill our need. Usually, we write our program in some high level language. For example, C, C++, Java, etc. This high level language is being transformed into some assembly language code. Okay? Next, this assembly language code is transformed into a machine level code. Machine level language code. Okay? So, this is the whole process. See? So, when we write our program in a high level language, we call it a source code. The assembly language program is usually called the object code and the machine level language program is usually called the machine code. Okay? Okay. So, let's uh, discuss some properties around these languages. First of all, what is machine, le machine level language? It is the language which, which is fundamental to the computer's processor. Okay, so the CPU directly understands this language because it is actually nothing but a sequence of zeros and ones. So these zeros and ones, so let us write it. Machine code. First of all, it is fundamental to computer's processor and it is a sequence of zeros and ones. Okay, so these zeros and ones, what does this represent? It represents high voltage and low voltage. Okay, maybe this is zero, this is one, this is again zero. So, computer is basically nothing but a electrical device inside, right? So, it understands high voltage and low voltage and through this high voltage and low voltage, this sequence of zeros and ones makes a machine code. So, it's machine readable but not easily human readable. So, next come, next we get assembly 
scope or language okay so in assembly code it's a symbolic representation of machine code so what does it mean machine code is sequence of zeros and ones right so if we want to perform some operation maybe like addition so assembly code assign some symbols like add to this operation okay but it's also no it's also very difficult to understand by human so next come assembly after assembly code we get high level language code okay so first property of high level languages it's easier to learn and here its statements are like some natural language like english so it's usually english like statements okay so next another thing we need to understand that machine code and assembly code both are machine dependent means a machine code written for your computer will not run in my own and similarly assembly level code is also machine dependent okay but high level language code like a program written in c or java it will run similarly in your machine and also in my machine so it is machine independent okay so next thing which we need to understand is who does this transformations right so we have said that high level language is being transformed into assembly level language so the program which does this thing is called compiler or may also use interpreter okay so what is a compiler compiler is a program which converts a high level programming language source code into a lower level code like in object code or it may also convert it directly into a machine code it entirely depends on the specific compiler you are using so compiler converts a source code into a lower level language code what compiler does it it takes a whole program written in a high level language and it converts it entirely into a low level language code what does interpreter what it does interpreter takes a single line a single instruction from a high level language code and it converts it into a lower level language code and it directly executes it so it does it line by line whereas compiler does it in a full for a full program it converts the code and interpreter do it line by line okay and after converting it into some intermediate language like assembly language code next task is handled by assembler so what assembler does it converts object code or assembly language code into a machine level language code okay so after the high level language program what you have written is converted fully to a machine level language code then only it can be executed by a computer so according to the uses of compiler or interpreter we can say that these are the programming language c c++ fortran cobol etc these are the language languages which uses compiler to convert its source code into machine level code and 
Perl, Python, Basic. These languages uses interpreter to convert its source code into machine code. Okay. Few programming languages like Java, it uses both compiler and interpreter. Clear? So let us revise for a little bit. So what is a program? Program is a sequence of instructions to perform some specific task using a computer. The act of writing a program is called the programming. Okay. So how the process goes on? First, uh, you write your program in a high level language. A compiler or interpreter converts it into an assembly level language code. Then, an assembler converts it into machine level language code. After, only after that, it can be executed by your machine. Okay? So, uh, enough for this video. We will meet in our next video. Thank you for watching.